Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Dimension Line tool in CorelDRAW X5. So this tool was not present in X4, so it's brand new to this program. Uh, you'll find it above the connector line tool on your left toolbar here, and the first type of dimension is the parallel dimension. So let's just draw two points across here, and it auto calculates the uh, dimension. And of course, we can mess around with settings up here in the top bar, and we can change the line font so you can actually see it, and what are dimension lines without some arrows. Uh, units, of course, are very useful, and there's actually even some drafting standards up here, but don't be fooled, in terms of dimensioning, CorelDRAW doesn't even compare to programs like AutoCAD. So, let's move on to the next type of dimensioning. I'm going to show you uh, angular dimension. So, with this you can calculate the angle from, uh, say here, to there, from the shoulder to the head here. And there we go, that's the dimension. And same settings apply, you can apply them. Um, so pretty much uniform across there, it's very self-explanatory. Now the next one that I'm going to show you is the three-point callout. What it does is it inserts a note pointing out what you want to dimension. So uh, here you actually have to write in the dimensions. There we go, some random dimensions for the size of the head, I guess. And of course, you can change the settings on here too. Let's make this actually visible to you guys. And you can place the note in different kind of preset boxes here. So there we go. Uh, so that's pretty much it for dimension lines here. There's not a lot to it, but uh, if you want to just add some perspective to your illustration or whatnot, you can easily do so. It's a very nice tool to use and it's quite simple. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Kremlin for the Techies. You want some blueberry muffins? Go to th3techies.com.